allow me to welcome everyone to this very wonderful, auspicious occasion on a beautiful Budapest day, the right kind of weather to celebrate a uh, very important relationship in our diplomacy and in world politics, and that is the relationship between the United States and Hungary here at this university, which is a Hungarian university, as well as an American university, we like to think that we symbolize the strong relationship between, over time, between Hungary <clears throat> and the United States, and how much we all have to gain by working together to create what I would call Crossroads Budapest, Crossroads Hungary. Hungary looks east and west as much as it looks uh, north and south. It is at a strategic location in Europe. It is not in the western part of Europe. It is not all the way in the east. And we at this university like to think that we symbolize through the more than 110 countries that are represented here, the international value of Hungary in a world that is very rapidly changing. I'm really very happy to be here uh, because uh, all people who are present now in this room, we share the same, the same passion and the same belief. Passion for and belief in an ever more intensive and diverse relationship between Hungary and the United States. Passion for and belief in the common values and ideas binding our two nations closer to together. The commemoration of the 90 years of Hungarian-US diplomatic relations, of course, uh, first and foremost, obliges us to express our thanks and gratitude to all those who have made a contribution uh, to this intensive, close relationship and friendship. There is no doubt that Hungary and the United States share the same fundamental values today. Looking back, there have been many good times and times that were trying. During the years when the United States and Hungary represented different spheres of influence, maintaining cordial relations was clearly more difficult. Now we can talk about everything, and we do. For much of the past year, we have had a dialogue about reforms. The United States is very supportive of Hungary's efforts to rebuild and strengthen the Hungarian economy. We have cooperated with the government in its effort to improve public administration by developing a code of conduct for government employees. We have also worked together on anti-corruption programs and law enforcement training. The rule of law and strong independent courts are important to improve the investment environment and are important for democracy. And Secretary Clinton and others have talked openly about the importance of preserving the independence of democratic institutions in Hungary and ensuring essential checks and balances are maintained. I'm convinced that today our shared respect for human rights, democracy, and international stability is strong enough to bridge any differences and to help us focus on the work ahead. There is no question that the common ground we share is solid and deep-rooted. We are linked by a common respect for human rights, democracy, and international stability, and we are able to discuss any differences we may have as friends. I can tell you that the US Embassy in Budapest, the Embassy in Hungary in Washington, as well as our respective capitals, work together every single day to ensure that this relationship continues to flourish. From business ties, to military cooperation, to cultural exchanges, we really do have much to be proud of. And we must not forget that with this region's successful transition to democracy and integration into Western alliances, our job now as partners and allies is to serve as an example for other emerging democracies and as inspiration for those who yearn for their countries to begin such a transition. My task is to um, explain to our friends of the United States that what's going on here is serving stability. Uh, the system, that, some of the system that we, we existed before needed, needed changes. These changes were necessary. Um, 
We have to explain that those changes are motivated by good intentions, precisely by trying to build a better, stronger, and more stable democracy. Some mistakes were made. We will, we will correct them. And the, there is never an, an end stage in democracy. And the, and the United States is the best example for that. It's a constant uh, change to the, uh, to the challenges of the time. We are doing the same thing. Let the existing changes work. Monitor them, let them work, give the benefit of that to the hungry, to Hungary. If there are problems, it will be brought to the surface, and Hungarians will change that. Throughout all our discussion was then that neither of us lost sight of the essence of our relationship, which is same values, same, same uh, values of democracy and freedom.